Hello everybody, G Reviews here and today I'm going to be actually partly reviewing the Gorilla's 20th Anniversary Deluxe Vinyl Box Set First Edition. And in my infinite amount of uh, googling and searching, I have not found um, any sort of interviews or sort of release things for like a second edition of this. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if a second edition would be for Demon Days and then a third for uh, Plastic Beach and so on. That would be kind of cool. So, today I will be partly reviewing this, as I said. Um, I will be going over the music that I have not heard in a separate video. And let's get on with it. So, the deluxe vinyl box set, for a start off, this thing's hefty. It's um, quite heavy, but it's in this nice sort of case file, case study thing, um, sort of faux cardboardy front all the way around to the back with this nice textured material um, binding the both things together as well as holding the actual binding itself. Now moving on the back, we have all the different albums and stuff within this uh, vinyl box set which goes from their self-titled to G-Side, Like a Come Home, Live from the Forum and a demos recording and I honestly I cannot stress how heavy this thing is. All these have been labelled with top secret stamps which is really cool and then we have a nice image of the self-titled album art on the front with a nice black spray paint of gorillas. And then moving on to the side, we have a nice reflective gorillas logo with a more smaller, but still equally as nice, first edition reflective logo on the bottom. Now, opening this up. We have some case documents from the DMC, as well as something I forgot to talk about, the DMC logo on the front. Now, um, I thought this was going to be a little in-universe law thing that wasn't going to get explained. I was wrong. Go on to the Gorillas Wiki. The Gorillas Wiki. The Department of Music Correction, DMC, the Par Department of Musical Corrections, also known as the Department of Music Corrections, often abbreviated as DMC, is a secret organisation located in London, England, which operates undercover in the music industry and is dedicated to the manipulation and reforging of popular music aimed at moulding people's minds into and their future into their own image and ideas with sacred values of harmony, obedience and order and the slogan always listening. And then if we scroll down, there is an entire uh, section uh, where it basically talks over their involvement with gorillas. Um, I will be linking this in the, uh, either the description or a comment and a pinned comment on the comment section below, because if you're like me, and you really want to get to know a lot of the lore of the Gorillas universe, that's a good read if you do want to get this. Although I will say it is not imperative for you to read that if you do want to get this. So this is um, the case file which is very nice. Uh, I'm guessing it's sort of made to look like every other case file thing in the world. Uh, we've got Case Gorillas on the side, very big DMC top secret logo on the front, and then nothing on the back. Opening it up, however, we have a nice little flap keeping everything in place. So this is where I will be going over a lot of what actually appears in the case file. So if you do not want to be spoiled on what comes in, do skip ahead and the video, I do not blame you. 
understand that most people who have not seen reviews for such an item would like to keep it a secret, as did I. So, the first thing you will see within this is two photographs. One of Mr Albon and one of Jamie Hewlett. Now, correct me if I am wrong, but I believe these Polaroids are taken from one of their documentaries. I cannot remember which one exactly, but it sort of fits in with what I saw in one of the documentaries. If I can find it and remember, I will link people to it. If I cannot, feel free to just correct me in the comments below. On the back, we have the usual DMC logos, and then ooh, Jamie Hewlett there, Damon Albarn there. Now, these are amazing because you could take these to Damon and Jamie themselves and actually get them personally signed, which I think would be kind of cool. If not, you obviously already have Damon and Jamie's names on the back anyway. Not that I think they're a legitimate signature. And then these are kept onto the paper with a nice paper clip that is included. So moving on, the first things you will see is um, an emergency meeting paper, which is coated front to back. Um, some in an incoming facts which again, these papers all have stuff on the back, they're not just blank. Um, a bi-monthly bulletin, which is coated front to back. And then some in-depth personality analysis of all four characters, which is really cool. And then an account of, I'm guessing, all the damages and stuff which you have found, which for those of you who are interested, you can try tot up everything that you want uh, because I don't think it comes out in a subtotal. Doesn't look like it. So yeah, I'm guessing this is for all the damages and things. Um, again, all these are printed out to have a sort of photocopied look, which is really cool. And then we get to the meat and potatoes of a why I am fairly sure a lot of you would want to order this. You get some sketches from Dame, from, no, sorry, from Jamie Hewlett himself. Um, and these range from character concepts to storyboards. So here we go on the first one. We have a very nice sketch of Noodle with all the other characters, which is really nice. And then on the back of all of these, they are giving Case Gorilla and an item number so you can keep them in order, which is really nice. Um, another quick sketch for the Gorilla's Mobile. Not sure what this is for. People could tell me down, pardon me. People could tell me down in the comments down below. That would be amazing. A nice black and white image of the gang, which is really cool, in front of the original Kong Studios. G-Sides Noodle, which I'm fairly sure this one was specifically for Japan as she's breaking the head off of Godzilla. Again, I could be wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. And these are what I believe to be just some random little doodles. really cool there is more and then these are from I believe that was from a bites from where they're all on the 192000 highway and Murdoch sees his Winnebago being stolen those are from our toys are here, another G bytes. And then I think that's from another G bytes as well. 
I'm not sure that bottom one, it looks like it. Some more doodles, which is really cool. Some more doodles of Noodle. Some more doodles of Noodle. Another doodle of 2D, which again, I'm sure that's from that interview. It could, it could be either an interview or it could be a G-Pax, I'm not entirely sure. Some more amazing art of 2D. Tiny one in the corner there. Some sketches of my man Russell. Another sketch of my man Russell. Some more sketches of Murdoch. I believe that gentleman. Yes, his dad Nichols. Who uh, obviously has a more pronounced schnoz than his son. Unless that schnoz is fake. I don't know. So a nice sketch of more Murdoch stuff and if you know, you know, Clint Eastwood. It's nice to see obviously some different angles and such Murdoch and then I believe that's another sketch from an interview. I'm not sure. It's not We Are The Jury. Either. No, I think it is We Are The Jury. I'm not sure. So then here we get on to some storyboards and stuff. So is the first storyboard for 5-4 and then here's the second part a map of Kong Studios which I believe this might be for one of the interactive um, things you get on the CDs I'm not sure I'm guessing that is some like come home sketches. Some and people are gonna really love this. Some amazing Clint Eastwood sketches for the storyboards. And then we finish off with the second one, which is really nice. So all in all, everything in the actual Case Gorillas file for stuff that's definitely worth grabbing a hold of, especially if you are an avid Gorillas fan or you know someone who is and you'd like to pick them up a present. Now, before you go rushing to the Gorillas website. just want to let people know that this entire this whole box set is a hundred and seventy pounds now that obviously does not include um, the added international shipping stuff because um, obviously it takes longer and things like that so this entire box set is a hundred and seventy pounds um, convert that into American or whatever currency you have um, in your country and you'll find out how much in fact actually no sorry I can do that now so US Ooh. okay so for this deluxe vinyl box set it is $249 that is US I feel very sorry for you, my lord. Uh, an Australian, if it decides to. I can find it on the Australian website, could buy me. 
you Australians, you have everything better than us. Um, I cannot find it. So if I can find out other prices for other places around the world, I will let people know. But as for now, uh, this is a very great thing to get for anybody you know who is a Gorillaz fan. Or maybe you are a Gorillaz fan yourself. Now, the other selling point for this is that there is one particular album on this that hasn't been in reprint for a while from what I've heard. If I am wrong, let me know. And I believe that is the Like Come Home album. I think that only had one pressing of vinyl back when it was first initially released. And obviously what you get in this is a very nice repressing of Like a Come Home. It's not just one vinyl, but of course Apologise, this can be a bit of a faff to get out. Um, can I turn that off? It's a bit. <laughs> um, obviously, you get both of them with all the songs on it and stuff. Sat in these nice plastic, not plastic, sorry, these nice paper wallets, as I call them. So that's really cool. So then you also get. Um, G sides on vinyl as well. I believe that is just yeah, that's just one vinyl. And then as well, as it said on the back of the box, you get the entire of the live at the forum on vinyl, and that is two vinyls. And then thing that I'm fairly sure a lot of people will be buying this for the unreleased demos vinyl which is really cool I wish these also came on a CD um, but I will take listening to it on vinyl any other way than a CD not to say that I hate releases on CDs, I have quite a sizable stack of the Gorillaz stuff on CD, but it's still nice to have in both forms in my opinion. Who knows, they may be doing a CD specific one with the second edition. Now the special thing about this as well um, is that it is a one-sided vinyl and I per personally I get so excited about this every time I look over at this box set on my shelf um, because this is the first unique one-sided vinyl that I have um, in my collection. So here we have obviously the front with all the grooves to listen to the music and then spinning it round to the back. If you can see that we have a nice image of 2D. The back of the Gorillaz self-titled album which is absolutely awesome. Now, obviously, with all the other vinyls um, being double-sided vinyls, you obviously don't get such an awesome thing on, say, the G-Sides one or the Live at the Forum. Um, it is purely on the Demos one, which, personally, I guess is a shame to some people, but um, if you ever decide to pick up another one of these box sets, God forbid you do, um, you can obviously keep one to play and then keep one to display the awesome image of 2D on the back. Now, it's a pain getting these out because the front flap opens quite a ways, but the other flaps for the vinyls only come to a certain way over. So it can be a bit of a faff, obviously having to flip through is to say, the, live, the first live at the foreign vinyl, second one's there. Um, and obviously having to try and get it out without damaging these. Um, I'm not sure if this is true, but um, I think some people have been reporting damages 
on these bits that hold the vinyls. Again, I do not know if that is true. I have just heard that on the internet floating around. Um, again, feel free to correct me in the comments. But the other cool thing on these things, you get a little, um, you get little things like that, call extension numbers. Um, there's the one for live at the forum. There we go. This is 4 p.m. tomorrow, which is cool. And then 23, which has a very sort of it's a very eponymous number with gorillas, which is really weird. Um, it's a lot. It's on a lot of the G foot stuff as well, as we see here. So. Um, would I recommend this purely for um, just the artwork? Yes. Would I recommend it um, for anyone obviously wanting to get something as a gift for their friend um, if they know their friend is a huge Gorillaz fan? Um, Yes, I would. And I will go through all these suggestions and stuff at the end of the video um, about recommending people stuff. But um, me recommending this specifically comes with one huge caveat. And that is this thing, along with the shipping, it can be very expensive. So, I would only get this for someone if you know you have enough money and afterwards you know you are going to have enough money left over for whatever else it is you're going to need, such as essentials. If you're an avid collector and you don't mind the price of this thing, definitely go for it because you will love it. It's filled with so much in-universe lore stuff and there's character profiles, there's extra sketches, storyboards we've not seen. Um, it's just packed to the literal brim with amazing Gorillaz content. And I highly doubt this, but if you have missed out on some vinyl releases from this, such as G-Sides or Like Come Home, or perhaps even the self-titled album itself, it is all contained in one nice leap and beautifully presented and packaged item and it's just a very big love letter to the gorilla's law itself i'm gonna to have to put this thing down because my god it is making my arms hurt so in terms of what you get in this entire package it is well worth buying it um for those of you who obviously already have the self-titled album um, and you purely want this for the sketches or say like me um, to own a copy of Like Come Home or another copy of G-Sides or even to just have something like the demos um, and all the other amazing things that come with this. I wouldn't recommend it to you if you do not want to have a, another copy of the same album. I know that sounds crazy to say to a bunch of Gorillaz fans um, purely because you people are the absolute mad lads that you are um, and I'm sure you probably have 50 kajillion copies of the same one album. I am working up to it, don't worry. Um, but yeah, totally recommend this. Um, I'll be hopefully be linking it in the description below. Um, and in a pinned comment in the comment section below. But again, only get this if you are definitely sure that A, your friend will enjoy it. If they are a huge Gorillaz fan, I am sure they will. Um, or B, you are definitely sure you want it yourself and you really do not mind having another copy of, say, the self-titled album or any other album that has, you have picked up in the years to come. So, with all that said, this is an amazing thing. I will be doing more videos on this um, when I have acquired a new 
um, record player. I had to give out my well, I had to give away my old one. It wasn't playing the records enough. It wasn't stable on what I was keeping it on. Just a load of things I will probably um, go off on into a Q and A or something if I ever do a stream. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching. I am sorry this video is getting quite long. I know I tend to ramble, uh, but I tried to keep this video as clear and concise with what I was talking about as possible. If I did get anything wrong, please, again, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'd love to learn as much as I can about the Gorilla's Law. Um, and I have a Patreon if you wish to support me to be able to see more amazing stuff like this. You do not have to pledge. Um, you do not have to do a monthly subscription pledge. You can just pledge for one time, cancel your subscription, and then um, if you wish to do it again in the future, that would be absolutely great. Um, again, as usual, Patreon will be linked in the description below and a pinned comment in the comment section below. Unless, obviously, I see a funny joke or a gorilla's meme in the comment section. And then my pink comment will be replaced by that person's funny pink comment. So, <laughs> work away in the comments. You might get a heart. Um, but, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all sometime next week or next start of next month when the Gorillas Minis release. I cannot wait for them. <laughs>